The second part of this question asks, what is the height of the bridge above the water? Okay, so that simply asks from the launching point to where it drops into the water that delta x. What is the change in displacement of the um, rock? And that will tell us how high the bridge is above the water. Okay, now that we know that, we already have three, four values. We have future velocity, initial velocity, acceleration, and the time it takes. Again, I don't want to use future velocity simply for the fact that I might have made a mistake. So I want a formula with um, delta t, initial velocity, acceleration, and delta x. And this formula will do the trick. So using that formula, we have delta x is equal to initial velocity times change in time plus a half acceleration times change in time squared. Initial velocity being 10, time being 3, a half times 9,8, everything positive this time because nothing is, to, is upwards, times 3 squared. We use our calculator and get that answer very easily. 10 times 3 plus 0.5 times 9.8 times 3 squared gives me an answer of 74.1 meters. It's equal to 74,1 meters that the bridge is above the water. That's quite a high bridge.